What's up everybody? Just thought I'd shoot a little video here. I'll turn this thing around, wait a sec. There we go, that's a little better. Yeah, uh, installing a hold down bar on guitar number three. This is the one that used to be five feet long with the super long extension and stuff. But it's been switched to the, to the twin V bar shredder style. So it's all set to the left. Done a few interesting things on this with a, few, a couple of finishing experiments and such. Stained neck. You notice the slight purple tint to the uh, inlay there. But anyway, yeah. So what we got going on is we got a hold down bar. I'm gonna, gonna install this puppy here. And uh, First step is I'm going to slap a bit of tape on in order to mark things out. Something I saw in a recent video. I don't have like a stand for this camera. I'm just kind of holding this thing. So I'm just going to like shoot a little video and then pause and do some work and then shoot some video. So hopefully I hit the right button here. Be right back. Okay, got some tape on. Now the basic plan is, is I'm going to find out the width of the nut, it's probably going to be around 42, something like that. Go to the center, make a dot, use a square, get me a center line going on this thing here. This guy clocks out at 28.4 millimeters, so then yeah, I'd go, you know, 14 millimeters either side of the center line. As far as placement goes, what you want to do, where's my part? Here's my part. Okay, so yeah, placement, you want to be, this thing's not going to sit still. Okay, so the closer you are to the nut, the harder the brake angle. Come on, camera, focus. Piece of shit. All right, so the closer you are to the nut, the harder the brake angle is for the string. And you want gentle brake angles, but you need enough brake angle so that you can compensate so that you're, you know, you got your curve going on here on your Floyd Rose thing. So you got to be coming down enough that, like, you know, you're... It's got to be, you want to be close, you want to be far away from the nut so that you have a more gentle brake angle, but it's got to be enough brake angle that it's definitely going to contact the rear end of the nut. And that's where we want to be. So we're going to be somewhere around here and around that height. Something of that nature. Maybe even a little higher, you know. So the next step is, is I'm going to go ahead and mic out the width of the nut, mark my center point, and strike my center line. I'll be right back. Okay, got it marked out for center line. Got my distance from the nut marked out, worked out to uh, 13 millimeters. And I went ahead and I double checked this. This guy clocks in at 28 millimeters here for the post separation distance and it went 14 millimeters each side and there's my two marks, mark number one, mark number two. Next step, do some uh, little pilot punching and then a little bit of drill bit action. Be right back. Come on, pause. Pause, pause, hello. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, got some pilot holes going for this thing here. All I did is I used a scratch all and a hammer, a few gentle taps, just big enough a hole, this thing will focus, just big enough a hole in order to get the drill bit in using a 1 16th. Got a bit of tape on it there. 
can see, it's clear tape, in order to get the depth correctly for the screw. And yeah, it doesn't really have to be that deep, so. So that's the next step, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we got us two holes here, and the uh, next step would be pull off the tape. Let's see what we got. One thing, focus. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a hole. Oh, it looks like a hole. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Here that truss rod covers off. I'll center a little bit. Yeah, I just eyeballed that thing, I think. So, but hey. Okay, so next step is get some of the old Johnson floor wax and wax up these screws and then screw it in. Be right back. Okay, so here we are. We're all waxed up and ready to go. That's the Johnson paste wax right there. And like most people, I'm not going to turn the fucking jar around so you can't see what the hell I'm using. Yeah, that's it. SC Johnson Paste Wax. I love this stuff. I use it to wax the guitars. Or if I've got like a, a clear-coated uh, fretboard, I'll use it on that too. I also use it for lubing the screws. I've tried, you know, all kinds of stuff in the ways of waxes for guitars and blues for screws, and this stuff does it all. So, yeah, okay, and if you look and see alignment here, yeah, well, come on. This is tricky because I'm blocking my own light, but, yeah, the alignment is... The alignment's right on, as far as like the whole distance goes, so, yeah. Measure twice, drill once, right? Okay, be right back. And so there it is. Just two screws and that's all there is to it. Um, turned out pretty nice. As you can see, it's got Plenty of brake angle. That'll be dark. That'll be low enough. And that actually works out. That'll be just a little bit lower than the holes on the tuners. So, yeah. They're going to go down a little bit and then up a little bit again, which is really more than you need. But hey, the screws aren't that long, so what can I say? But yeah, everything's looking good. Nice and pretty, nice and pretty. So this one's very close to done now. I need to uh, install the Floyd Rose on this end and uh, install, I've, I've got to fab up a new um, control plate for it. Put the control plates there, we'll get the kill switch, we'll get the on off switch and the jack. And other than that it's my typical like Super shred kind of a build, 24 fret, one neck humbucker, and no fooling around. So, yeah, this one, this one's turned out real nice. This is the one that that feels super, super smooth, and and just has like beautiful balance, and just you want to hug it and take it home. It feels so great, man. So. And I fix the arms, yeah, so everything's all nice and tight and solid. There what I did is the holes, since the stuff is plywood, the stuff had actually wallowed out pretty bad. I ended up on one of the holes, I had to stuff as many as five toothpicks in, along with uh, super glue, in order to get the thing filled again, and get enough material back there in order to get a screw to bite in and get a decent grip. I mean, it's still, I mean, it's like, you know, if you look at these guitars, and I've been thinking about this general, 
concept and design. Uh, these are these are you know I've I've built less than half a dozen of these kind of guitars, and I'm starting to think that maybe the way to go is you cut out like a big piece of plywood that does all this stuff here as like just one piece that's solid and that would give it much greater strength and rigidity and you don't have to worry you don't have to worry about like you know bars coming loose and stuff like that and then just mount it to the back of the guitar so that's something to think about for this kind of a thing in the future but basically, you know, if you're going to do that, all you really need is you need a place for, and it all boils down to the same. Everything, this is just, you know, a quick and dirty way to get, to get some wood where I need it, where people, in, where one in general needs it for playing the guitar. You need to be able to support the, car, the guitar when you're sitting down, and it's looking like a bar that goes across like both legs here is really the e-ticket ride because then you have like no balance issues with you know whether you've got stuff on the headstock or no head you know you don't have to go no head you can get a guitar that's going to sit right all day long you know you can slouch you can you can hunch over it doesn't matter the thing's always going to be right where you need it and then for this bar it's just a matter of getting that that strap button on this in, you know, high enough and, and in general in the right area so that so that you can get the thing to not neck dive when you're standing up. And that's really all it is. I mean that's that and connecting a neck to a tailpiece, it's all a body really needs to do. So, you know, this is a first stab at, at getting some things going the way you need them to go but there might be more anyway so yeah I just thought I'd do a quick and dirty thing here of putting hold down bar on guitar number three and that's it see everybody next time